everybody. It's a Monday night. It's a weird time to be here. <laughs> um, this is the this is our first episode of our actual play. Uh, if you are watching us, thank you. Um, we are we are very excited to be here. Um, I would love to just get started here by going around the table. Um, my name is Hunter. I am your GM this evening. Uh, going down the line, let's start with Daniel. Oh, uh, hello. I'm Daniel. Sweet. <laughs> are we, are we uh, doing character introductions yeah, yet? Yeah, character introductions. Okay, okay. Well, right. for sure. Very, very basic. Sure thing. I'll be playing uh, Roddy. I'm an archaeologist rogue, and I'm a funky little guy. Excellent. Uh, Elliot. My name is Rad, and uh, I just, <laughs> I just can't even. It's true. Uh, on his character sheet, there is just a sticky note that says "unability to even." Um, Emily, moving right along. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Emily, and I will be playing Nori. He is a fighter, and I'm very excited. Uh, Gabe. Hey there, Gabriel Mercer. Uh, my pronouns are he/him, and I am playing Thrax Knucklesnap, whose pronouns are also he/him. Uh, Mel. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mel, and I will be playing Shelly. Uh, Shelly is a monster, not unlike myself. And um, she's been sort of Frankenstein together. And uh, as we'll see, there's various different body parts that will come to play. So I'm very excited. Excellent. Uh, Noel. Hello. Uh, I am playing uh, Billy, a, a gnome ranger uh, who is very well traveled. Um, they go by a they them. <coughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, those those are our players and their characters. Uh, we are going to be utilizing Alchemy RPG for this show. Um, they have been so kind as to partner with us for this production. Um, we uh, are utilizing their uh, their streamer mode, which is not actually active yet. It is our uh, sort of play testing of their stuff. <coughs> Very exciting. Um, let's go ahead and uh, head over there. Look, cool. Uh, if you guys, are, if if those of you who are actually on the call uh, don't have Twitch pulled up, uh, you can see it. It is uh, very cool sitting there. Um, so what everybody in the audience will be able to see is the spectator mode. Um, you guys will be able to see like our uh, the different people that are in the call. You'll be able to see all of our roles on the left hand side. Um, but most importantly, you'll be able to see the different scenes as we transition into them. Uh, speaking of scenes, it seems like a good time to just dive right in. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, okay. So, let's see. Every everything coming through on your guys' end, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, the six of you uh, are all from different walks of life, different paths. Uh, you've all been traveling on your own for a while, going in different directions. Uh, however, due to different situations, different uh, misfortunes, you've all found yourself in the same place, uh, which is the back of a large wagon, uh, heavily reinforced, iron bars on the window, door locked, uh, as it is traveling who knows where. Each of you are sitting there, uh, tied up, sitting inside the wagon, looking around at the uh, people in the wagon around you having a hard time making out anybody that is sitting there there's definitely other shapes in here but it's so dark and the moonlight through the trees is hard to make out uh, the other individuals so as we're sitting here each of you is just sort of reflecting on the road that brought you here Roddy we'll start with you all right uh, Roddy, you are an archaeologist. 
Um, that is correct. You have been uh, studying in the uh, the College of Dugborum for uh, a while. You've done different uh, quests and jobs or anything like that, um, and have been going all over the place, uh, recovering sorts of weird items for the college itself. Um, however, you also do other things as well, and you've been known to take things from places like the college or the local museum or anything like that to bring them to less secured locations. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Uh, that is what brought you to the catacombs of Dugmore. Uh, you have heard tales of a uh, an item that was locked away down here uh, that you have, you've come down here to look for. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, Roddy. Uh, Roddy ha is a professor at the uh, university in Dugborum. Uh, I have been given a lot of assignments and workload from the head of the archaeology department, Professor Flint Belly. Uh, I, Roddy is a big fan of taking important like artifacts, cool, magic, mystic, any sort of item that has a cool story to it, mm -hmm. and uh, moving it to a place that is that seems uh like a like a better spot for it or just like a more fun idea uh i also just like really like holding on to them for a little bit but i don't like to have too much clutter so i drop them off either where i found them or most of the time not Excellent. uh you uh you have a uh, an accomplice in your in your current um, alleged cr criminal activity. Alleged, alleged. alleged. Uh, you are in the midst of it. So is it really alleged? We'll we'll leave that to the viewers to decide. <laughs> um, you have an accomplice uh, by the name of Bert Pool. Uh, That's my Bert guy. Bert Pool is a uh, an older human man, a uh, little bit of a belly, uh, beginning to bald on top, thick mustache. Um, Bert has. Uh, served as security around Dugborum for a long time. He's worked pretty much anywhere that there are things to protect. Uh, Bert has worked there. Uh, weird coincidence. Pretty much anywhere Bert works, uh, things go missing. It's probably not in connection. Uh, I'm sure that there's no reason that the places that he's providing security for are losing items. Um, but because of that, he's a, a valuable asset to somebody like Roddy. Uh, so he has led you down into the catacombs, brought you to a, uh, a large, heavy door, and sort of uh, looks around, unlocks it. He looks at you and he goes, All right, now what you're looking for is right in there. You gotta go in, you gotta be quiet. I know there's a there's security in there of some sort, or I haven't been able to map it all out, but you, you got this, right? Of course, absolutely. Okay. He unlocks the door and takes a, a step back, walks a little bit away to, to the hall to sort of uh, stand guard. Every once in a while, you'll hear somebody walk by and he's like, Oh, don't mind me, just standing guard. Nothing to see here. <laughs> uh, official security business. Um, what are you doing? Uh, I would like to start a walk in. I want to okay. take a peek around a little bit. You, you walk in there. Uh, go ahead and make me a perception check. All right, absolutely. First roll of the campaign. Yay! It's a privilege and an honor. <laughs> perception check. Oh, Ooh, let's go, baby. There we go. <laughs> Solid. Uh, since, Starting since this off have, right. Since we have officially had a roll, um, this is probably a good point for me to mention. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with our regular morning show, um, we have added a few new uh, things that you can redeem waffle points for. Um, in there, uh, you can redeem waffle points to give a specific player uh, inspiration. 
Um, you can redeem more waffle points to give me inspiration. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, um, no. Uh, you, there, we also we also <laughs> added, uh, which is uh, which seems to be giving uh, <laughs> Elliot uh, heart palpitations. Um, we we have in our regular show the ability to redeem waffle points to do what we call zombie hunter. Uh, which is just, it makes me not be able to talk normal and I have to talk in zombie voice for a minute. Um, we decided by popular demand to keep that as an option just for more waffle points. So for a hundred, <laughs> for a hundred thousand waffle points, you can make me talk like a zombie for a minute. Hunter, I feel, um, I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did he do? But for for a thousand for a thousand waffle points, you can give any of the players advantage. You'll just redeem it, and it'll ask you what player you want to give that advantage to. Um, any player can only have one advantage at a time, so you can't just give an absurd number of points to give a player uh, rerolls for the rest of the night. Um, GM inspiration to avoid you uh, horrible horrible people. Uh, from just <laughs> giving me a lot of inspiration to destroy people. Uh, GM inspiration is 3,000 waffle points. Um, so uh, those have been added. Uh, C17R asks, can we pool points? Ooh. No, that's not how Twitch works. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you guys, uh, uh, Roddy, you roll a 21. Looking around this chamber, you can see a few things. One, uh, there are um, like trip wires, sort of all over the uh, the floor in here. No problem. Um, yeah, should be no problem for somebody of your skill set. Um, you also see that there are um, uh, like darts, sort of lined up on the on the wall. There are like these holes that look like they would launch uh, like poison darts out of them if you would trip over any of these trip wires. Um, like Indiana not, Jones style? Like run, run very, away from- Yes, absolutely, right. Indiana Jones style. Very cool, uh, very cool. Last but not least, in the middle of the room, uh, you see there is a pedestal with a, uh, a dome that goes over it. Uh, and inside uh, there is the thing that you are looking for. Uh, which is a goblet um, that is just sitting there. A go that's like a type of cup. That's like a chalice. Yeah, yeah, like a chalice. Ooh, all right, fancy cup. Uh, can I do a like a lore check on this cup? Uh, yeah, make me a history check. All right. I'll, I'll give you advantage for it because you're uh, um, you're here to retrieve it. It would make sense that you know some stuff about it. So then, for Although advantage, ah, uh, oh, there we roll, go. Roll twice and take the better. I just um, did it with advantage through the system. Well, there you go. Oh, uh, D, uh, Alchemy RPG being all fancy in here. Your first one is um, not great. <laughs> yeah. How do you oh, see my first one? Uh, I click see on it, and it'll it'll give it, you, you your two rolls. Yeah. All right. Um, well. <laughs> so, uh, you you know that this chalice um, is uh, a very very old item that was pulled out of the Dune Sea. Um, about uh, two months ago, it was recovered from one of the sunken cities there. Um, the uh, whatever properties it may possess, not super interesting to you. What's interesting to you uh, is that it is very old, and it's clearly being wasted, uh, <laughs> locked in a basement like this. It's underground. It deserves to see the sun. It spent so much time is underground, it buried in the Dune Sea. Like this, this deserves to see the light of the sun. Is it shiny? Uh, it is pretty shiny. It has been cleaned up a little bit. It's, Those sun it's, rays are gonna look so magnificent, eye. shining off of them. This beautiful silvery metal with these green gemstones set into it. That's a sexy ass cup. It is. <laughs> Hell why, yeah. That is why you're here, Roddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there's trip wires and darts. you doing and then there's a dome covering the chalice itself what kind what kind of dome is it or am i too far away to like should i get closer you would have to get closer if you want to investigate it all right so um, i will give you i will give you two options all right stealth or acrobatics to try and get across these uh uh these trip wires is there is there any 
anybody let me take a i guess i just made a perception check let me just turn around bert pool's still there he's got my back uh you can't quite see him he's out in the out in the hall but you assume he's never okay. let you down before all right and there's there's nobody in here like empty room except uh, with, for with your 21 perception you know that there's currently nobody else in here all right then let's just go acrobatics okay go for it all right, Money. let's oh, keep it man. going. Daniel, yeah. setting the bar high. <laughs> oh. what these balls are going to look like. Um, oh my God. Don't expect it for too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Roddy proceeds. How, how do you, uh, with what does a 20 mean for for crossing the uh, uh, the field here? I can't tell if this is a memory that is accurate to what happened or if I just made up this mm -hmm. memory. Uh, Izzy from Total Drama World Tour going through <laughs> the uh, the museum in Paris. <laughs> through like the laser wires. Daniel, this is, this is like... Uh, <laughs> Wow. Running theme with uh, you. This is like the the second or third total drama <laughs> reference that you've made uh, since we started like this whole process. I, I love have, it. I'm I very have into watched it. each not like the newer ones, but I watched like the first three or four seasons like five times each. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Daniel's into the OG um, total drama. Yeah. <laughs> None of that, bro. New total drama. <laughs> None of the ninja or turbo. <laughs> Um, uh, Paul, it's, uh, according to, uh, Gabe, it's sounded like the music is kind of loud in the, in the actual stream. Um, if you're in the chat, let Paul know if the, uh, if the music is too loud. Um, okay. Got it. Um, okay. We got you covered, so, I, uh, Roddy. You how how you're just doing like crazy backflips and back handsprings and stuff like that? Yeah. To to get across here, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you you get across to the other side. Um, and Paul, uh, chat saying that it sounds it sounds okay. Um, you uh you get across to the other side. Um, and you are standing in front of the uh the pedestal. Um, if anybody had been in this room to see it. They would be so impressed with what you just accomplished. Uh, uh, I give myself a bow. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> standing in front of this this dome and, and looking at it. Go ahead and make an investigation check for me. Almost looked for real life dice. Investigation. <laughs> here we go. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, looking at this dome. Um, you can see it, it seems to go down into the pedestal. It looks very secure. And the uh, the dome itself looks pretty thick. You don't think you'd be able to, like, smash it open. Oh, and it goes into the pedestal? What's the pedestal made out of? Stone. That seems thicker than the dome. Probably, yeah. Um, too thick to, like, smash hammer. There's no, like, open... There's no like, is there like an opening mechanism? Or Not is you've it seen? Is it just like a lifting dome? I uh, looking looking at it, you don't see any way to like remove this dome from this pedestal. Interesting. It looks it looks very heavily secured. Um if you had to guess, you'd say that it probably I uh, was like um secured into this and then the whole thing was brought here. Interesting. How do? What would they do with a locked cup? That's a good question. All the more reason to get it out of here. All right. This is, can a, I... this is a waste of a good cup. Uh, awesome. Can I? Is this in a, an appropriate time for me to try out some some nifty little stuff? Yeah. You want to try out some nifty little stuff? I want to try out some nifty little stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, what are we talking about the NLS? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, Roddy, being being level one, you only have 
one hit die that you can expect um, to, oh. to attempt this. Um, do you, I mean, is, do that, is that you want to try it? Yeah, yes, I mean, you absolutely can. Yeah, do it. Let's go Let's for see. it. Let's go for it. Okay. How, is there a but? Is there a is there a hit dice button? Uh, let's see here. What is um? Let's see. What is the hit die here for a? What I know it's a. The, what is I know the hit a, die for a rogue? Is it it's D8? a D eight. It's a D eight. Okay. Um. So, uh, go ahead and roll me a a D eight. All right. Dang. <laughs> oh <my God>. No. <laughs> uh, and the streak ends here. Okay. Uh, betrayed at the optimal time. Right. Um, Sometimes I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, I uh, for uh for the betterment of our audience, um, the land that these characters live in is called Brunichilo. Um. It is a uh, a very very um, low magic uh, world. The magic has died out. There is no like arcane energy left to pull from. Um, so you, there are no like wizards out there with like incredible spells and stuff like that. Um, but in the last few years, random individuals have begun manifesting these um, arcane giftings, these things that they are capable of doing. Um, the way that works is that they can expend uh, their hit dice, basically uh, taking uh, some form of uh, their own life force and channeling it into magic. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, Roddy, uh, your your gifting um, is what for for the audience? Uh, it's the power of transmutation. So, uh, Roddy, you you are attempting to do what with your magic here? You said, what's the dome made out of again? It looks like some sort of like thick glass or maybe some sort of crystal. Could I? I, I kind of just want to like, if it's like a crystal structure, could I like, I don't know, I, I don't know if this is how it works, but could I like just expand space in the crystal and just like reach my sure. hand through uh you you attempt to do that um and i i feel like this is probably something that roddy has done in the past of like yeah pro roddy when he learned he could do this probably has pushed himself past what he's capable of doing <laughs> uh, more often than not um so roddy you uh, you tap into your magic and you put your hand on this uh, this crystal and sort of like try and open the space uh, in the crystal to put your hand through. And as your hand put, goes in, uh, you feel something very, very sharp and you go to pull your arm back and you realize you're stuck. Uh, you're, okay. You, you can put your hand forward, but it's like you opened you opened it up, but it's still jagged on the other side so as your hand goes through uh, it okay back out through it it's like sawgrass i uh, what what are you what are you trying to do could i hmm. normally when i stick my hands through things and i pull my hands out they, I can like make them go back to their original structure. Usually, yeah. If something happens in the process and something fucks up, can I, and like I have to like force my arm out, could I continue to then close it back together? Or is there like too much damage done and you there's could, like- You could try. You've already used your hit die, which would mean <laughs> that if you want to try and do more, you would have to use your hit points. That seems like an irresponsible decision. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Uh, I feel like just sticking my hand in more is also a bad idea, because then just more of my arm is stuck. Who needs arms? <laughs> we can get you a new one. Oh. Do I have... Do I have like a file of some sort or like a 
like a little pick that I could try to just like break off the pieces that are jagged and then like I'd... attempt to I don't know. I thought I you were going a totally together. different way with that one. Just, this is just a, is, what's that James Franco movie? It was 127 hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was so, I was like, oh man, stop. It's been 30 minutes. <laughs> um, okay. Um, you are, uh, you pull out like a tool from your, from your bag and start like trying to break these pieces. Uh, that is not going to be quiet. Make me a stealth check to see how quietly you can do this. Oh. <laughs> this seems like a precarious situation to mm. be in. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Roddy, Roddy. The, the chat is sitting here going, please don't get rid of your arm in the first three minutes of the campaign. <laughs> Why would the dice let me get away with a total drama reference and not let me get the cup? You already know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Thematic irony. <laughs> you, are, yeah, you already know. <laughs> All right, stealth check. Everybody knows. Everybody knows a failure is better after a a beautiful success. Oh wow! Um, wow! I got a twenty eight stealth. That's Suck it, Hunter. <laughs> um, okay. Go, go easy. Oh. Uh, you start. You start smashing some of this crystal away. Um, Don't say smashing. That's a loud word. You start. You start, <laughs> you start very quietly chipping away at little tiny oh, pieces of crystal. That's um, more calming. Yes. And then pull, <laughs> uh, pull your arm out with the with the goblet. Uh, before could I just because now there's a big hole in it. So there is a big I get, hole in it now. So I'd be able to stick my hand in back and forth over and over again. So I would like. Oh, okay. I would like to reach my hand out without grabbing the cup in case there's another booby trap. Okay. Uh, so you just take your arm out. You don't take the cup with you. Yes. Okay. Did it work? Yeah, your arm comes back out. All right. Fantastic. You, you are you are cut up a little bit, but yeah. I, do, okay. do I have like a, a quick a quick draw bandage? I could just like Quick make, a, make, a, make, a, make a medicine check. I got my Disney band-aids right here. <laughs> Get, have, have pulls, like a, a, pulls a Hello Kitty band-aid out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Uh, twenty. Um, okay. I uh, you um yeah you you pull out some some bandages and stuff, wrap them around your arm to uh to make sure you're you're gonna be okay. Nice. Um, uh, the, the cup is still there. Sweet. Uh, does it look like it's on like a pressure pad or anything? Is, the, <laughs> uh, is there any other Maybe secondary and tertiary stuff. traps? Investigation. Because you said this is in the... Is, I got a 13. You said this is in the catacombs. It's like with like security. This seems like a, this seems like a, high, a higher stakes situation than just like unlocking a door. Yeah, sure. Um, with a 13... You you look around at this uh, this pedestal. You don't see anything. There's nothing that catches your eye as being like, that's a trap. All right. Uh, I'd like to take like a, a cloth and I'll grab the cup and then like wrap the cup in this cloth and then like tie off the end to make sort of like a cup shaped stack. Okay. No, no fingerprints here. Absolutely. Uh, awesome. Just your blood. I'll put it in yeah. my bag. <laughs> just yeah, just the, no fingerprints, <laughs> just blood. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I tried my best. There's, I can't do more than that. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They ain't no DNA testing. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, anytime, anytime I talk about that, like I always think of the John Mulaney bit where he's like, you know how easy it was to get away with murder <laughs> in the olden days? <laughs> if you weren't there when the cops showed up, you probably got away with it. <laughs> like, before they knew about DNA testing, they'd be like, there's a pool of the killer's blood in the hallway. and be like, hmm, gross. <laughs> 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 um, anyway, uh, you, you grab it, you wrap it up. What are you doing with it? Uh, I, I guess I'll take stick a second. Stick it in your bag? Yeah, stick it in my bag. 
uh, take a secondary cloth, wipe up the blood, not for yeah. just like for aesthetic purposes, not right. not cover. Leave no trace. Leave no that. trace. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't yeah. want it to look Roddy, messy. Roddy lives by uh, the by the National Park Service rules. <laughs> <laughs> Professionals have standards. Absolutely. Um. Awesome. So I just have these shards and a cup and some blood. <laughs> uh, can I? Can I put the shards back? Can I? How many hit points would it take <laughs> for me to put the shards back to how it was before I got my hand stuck in there? I I would say <clears throat> just as a rule, breaking is easier than fixing. <laughs> um. So it, no. <laughs> you, you are you can you can attempt it. You would have to use you would you would be rolling your hit die, but it's gonna come out of your hit points. Okay, but after this, I'm probably after this, Roddy's probably planning on going home and like sleeping to get a rest. Sure. S Absolutely. And if mm -hmm. and if anything if anything bad were to happen. I don't know how much a few hit points would go. Like I have, I have thirteen <laughs> hit points. So even if I roll max, I still have five left. I could do a lot with five hit points. Uh huh. All right, sweet. I'll fix it. Okay. Roll me a d8. <laughs> One d8 so coming yeah. right up. Let's do it. Hey. <laughs> three. Okay. That's you not take, bad. You you take three hit points of damage. All right. Let's do this um, new damage. So. But but but, oh. There we go, check mark. Okay. There we uh, go. You take three hit points of damage. Um, describe for me how you are fixing this dome. Um, I think I want to like look at the hole I've created, take like mm -hmm. the shape of it, take the shards, kind of jigsaw puzzle them in my hand, and sort of just like slap it. And as I slap it, magic seal, boom, it's fixed. Okay. I uh, so you you slap it into place there's light that sort of glows around it as it like fixes itself um you sort of look at it yeah it looks looks good <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh, let me just like touch it very lightly to make sure it's like nope. secure why why would you do this <laughs> why would you do this thing <laughs> <laughs> Why? You just I'm, said it looks good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this sleight of hand. <laughs> oh, Is it too no. late no. to take that back? Too late. Oh, too late, too late now. Thing. You're rolling sleight of hand. Make a and sleight then... of hand check. This, I don't know. I know that if, like, in the real world, when I fix something, I like to test it out to see if it's like actually fixed. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, oh. That is that is a nat one. Now you roll four d six for the next character that you're gonna need. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate everything. Oh man, <laughs> everything uh, is bad. If if anybody didn't have the stream <laughs> up, you somebody missed, buy me missed, advantage, please. Missed the nat one oh, animation. Uh, anytime anytime you guys roll a nat one, we have a nat one animation that plays that I is the waffle it. mic icon, but it pops up like a toaster with a burnt toaster. <laughs> uh, with a burnt waffle and it has a so one good. on it. Um, we also have one for a natural it. 20. Um, okay. So, uh, you, uh, you, you put your hand on it, you fix it. You take a step back and you look at it. And you're like, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Tap, and it shatters. <laughs> um, you you like stand there for a second, then you go to turn around and you see Bert, who is like standing in the doorway, and is just staring at you and goes, "What was that? What what do you do? What? How did you do that?" Uh, I I pull out the my hammer. Uh. uh -huh. I shattered the glass so I could get the uh the cup. <laughs> he, he points at where the cup was. He's like, the, the, the cup, it, it's already. You already had the cup. How do you do the other thing? What do you What do you mean the other thing? I it's shattered. I shattered the glass and I took the cup. Uh, make a deception check. <laughs> Uh, 
this is by far the most stressful like <laughs> intro to D D that's ever happened for me. Uh, deception. Yes. Go. <sighs> Twelve. Okay. Let me make an it's... insight check for Bert Pool. Bert Pool, please don't be wise. <laughs> he's the brightest. Uh, I don't let's know. See here. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that name? <laughs> yeah, man. He's he's the best. Is Bert Pool part of Doug Borum's finest? Uh, let me go ahead. Uh, that is a four. Um, <laughs> I uh, he he sort of looks at you and he goes, "Oh, okay. Um, we leaving?" <laughs> yes. Um, you making your way back towards him? Yes. <laughs> you don't sound too certain. <laughs> well, a lot of things just happened, so I'm a little on the edge of my seat. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, cause nor normally, yeah, he's, he's the lookout. He looked out. I got my ass covered. Sure, there were a few hiccups along the way, but so far, so far, everything's okay. So yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, you making an acrobatics check to get back across the room? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thirteen. I uh, you get across you do like <clears throat> knock a couple of the uh the trip wires but none of the darts hit you um sure. you sort of get across I uh, walk towards Bert he he goes so you got it then yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's not there anymore he looks over he goes yeah that's fair I can I see five. it he gives you a high five can I see it uh, not yet. I have to. I have to make sure. I have to go make sure everything is like cleaned up properly. And but as soon as soon as it's ready for inspection, I I'll get you a sneak peek. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just like uh, normal. He um, uh, he sort of walks out uh out of the room, motions for you to follow. He'll lock the the door behind you, um, and uh. Starts, starts walking away. Um, gets over to the hall and sort of peeks around the corner and then pulls back and like flat against the wall. He goes, Um, well, you followed. You're, I was in front of you. Were you followed? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, I don't think so. Well, there's people here now. What kind of people? And he pokes his head around the, the, the doorway again and pulls Don't it back. <laughs> He's like, they're big. They've got like swords and, and shields and they're moving this way. And you can hear the like clank, 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 clank of like footsteps in full armor marching this direction. Oh, is there <laughs> another way out of here? Uh, he, he, he looks around and he goes, the sewers? Sure. Let's go. Okay. All um, right. <laughs> and, I uh, he will, uh, go over down a little bit of a hallway, uh, and pulls a, um, uh, pulls a, the, like, grate up, um, and he says, you want to go first or you want me to? You go first. Okay. Um, he hops down into the, uh, into the grate. How's it looking there? <laughs> you hear echoing from double. It's dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, word. Uh, is it like a ladder? Is it steps? No, it's it, just a drop. It's, oh, like just like straight into the water? Yeah. Gross. <laughs> 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 All right, fuck it. We ball. Cool. Uh, you, uh, you drop Wait, down in. How did it all? <laughs> uh, my pack, I, I assume I have, like, things that I can light on fire for, like, light. Yeah, like a torch or something? Yeah, but if, can I, like, make, can I try to do it so, like, they stay dry? Do I have, like, a water-resistant 
Are they like leather wrapped you, or something? You like you like light a light a torch and just hold it up above your head as you draw, jump down. <laughs> it, so hopefully it won't go under the the stuff. Oh, um, okay. You, uh, oh yeah. I uh, you drop down there, um, and I uh, I uh, Bert goes all right. I uh, he looks down above him. He goes this way. Mm -hmm runs off down the the sewers a bit you can hear a, uh as you're running off you can hear the uh the footsteps upstairs as they continue did um, we i guess we can't like jump back up to close the grate yeah, that's a pretty pretty steep drop there all right just run okay you run with bert um come on bert you turn on the jets he <laughs> uh, takes off down the uh the sewer here rounds a, rounds one corner rounds another pretty quickly you've lost track of where you're at um okay and then i he i he rounds around a corner um and as does he, he seem confident he seems to know where he's going all right sweet um he rounds a corner uh, and as you get around the corner as well, uh, you see four people, all with bows, just pointed at where you are now standing. Uh, and you see Bert is just sort of behind them. Um, and he goes, I really hate to do this. You know how much I love you. Oh, Bert? I found a better buyer. I need the cup. Oh. Hmm. Now, I assume in this moment, can mm. I, do I need to make an insight? I feel like if I give him the cup, I'm going to get in trouble anyways. Up to you. What do you but want to four do? arrows, four arrows could four kill arrows. me. Four arrows. Oh, could kill Definitely. me. Oh could. my god, yeah. So yes. running, running is probably... <laughs> All right. Ah. You've still got hit points if you want to use oh. them. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> um, I'll give you the cup. As I walk out of here, do you do you intend to give him the cup as you leave, or are you going to try and get away with it? <laughs> no, no, no. Just, no. just I'm... De determining if it's a persuasion or deception check. This is a Roddy is planning on like leaving the cup and walking away with his life and freedom. Make a make a persuasion check. Persuasion. Oh, I started so well. <laughs> That's a five. Oh, the betrayal of the dice. Um. <clears throat> started so uh, strong. He says, <laughs> uh, eh. I think I'll just take it now if it's all the same to you. Oh. <laughs> uh. Bert Poole. <laughs> Bert Poole, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Up to you. Oh, yeah. I'll... I'll take it out of the... I'll take it out of the... I'll take the wrap out. Mm -hmm. I'll open the sack. Mm -hmm. I'll, like, look at it. I'm gonna kiss it and then I'm gonna toss it to Bert. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bert will uh, try and catch it. Oh no. Oh. A nat twenty. Uh, I fucking Bert hate wow. Bert. I'm gonna beat the <laughs> shit out of Bert when I get the cat. <laughs> How it. dare! Such, such a disrespectful toss towards him, and he and he just goes poof and catches it. He like looks at it and he goes, "Oh gross, there's blood on it." <laughs> um. And uh, he sort of looks you over and he goes, How'd you really get it out of there? I smashed the glass. Uh, we tried to smash the glass. We couldn't get it open. How'd you do that? I got my special ways. You guys aren't the... If I 
if you if i gave away my secrets how would you we have a a, a mutualistic relationship i take the shiny things you get some of them and i can get into them and some other people can i got, I got a nifty skill set uh he sort of nods looks over at one of the one of the archers and he goes those guys still looking for people with unique skill sets the how one, much the okay other one goes, yeah. the other one goes you know i think they are <laughs> I have a question. I have an important, important question. Yeah. Um, let me look at my features. Uh... <laughs> how fast can I run? <laughs> yeah. How, how, how much? Okay, are they all like in a straight line with Bert Pool behind them? Uh huh. Uh, well, they're they're like four <laughs> in a row, and then Bert standing behind. Awesome. How? What's the spacing? Like, how far away are the four guards? Like, from each other or from you? From, I guess, both. Uh, from you, the closest one would be, like, uh, ten feet. Um, the And then each of them are standing, like, five feet from each other. All right. And is Bert, like, in the middle of the central two? But, like, in the back? Uh, yeah, in between them, but, like, ten feet behind. Interesting. Uh, how tall is okay? Is it they're like on stairs, like looking down at me, or is it straight? Uh, they are uh, on a platform, uh, sort of looking down. Awesome. This how room is opened up into a little bit of a cistern. Sweet. How much space is there going up along the walls, <laughs> hypothetically? <laughs> like, like to the ceiling. Yeah, like how high are these walls? About twelve feet. This is either the best dome, escape dome attempt ceiling. or the worst delay tactic I've ever seen. You can't run from top ten how, anime. How trail, high are they? Man. How far away? Is, how tall? I keep just what the, color uh, shirt is he wearing? I keep expecting Daniel to be like, wait, and then I have a skill, and then to like run away from camera. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I can climb Fuck walls it's like it's difficult to rain. You do. I so, can dash uh, to get for, extra movement. For our, for our viewers, uh, Roddy is a, um, uh, what is what is your race, Roddy? I'm a Durin. A Durin. Which I'm a are, mountain goat uh, person. Like goat people. Um, somewhere between like a satyr and a minotaur uh, are the Durin. Um, That's fucking right, baby. Uh, so he, Roddy's got hooves. He can, he can run up walls. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what are you trying to do? Oh, no. okay. Oh, important question. These guards, are yes. they? What kind of what kind of guards are they? Are they like museum guards? Because uh, they don't to, have hard bows. to tell. No, they they look more like human, probably like <laughs> bandits, probably like a, a bunch of thugs that I. Uh, uh, Bert has pulled together. All right. Mm -hmm. You know what to do. <laughs> I gotta, know what to do. I'm going to run. I'm going to try to... Oh, interesting. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Question so... for the GM. Can arrows be non-lethal? <laughs> uh, we'll I'm find out here in a second. <laughs> well, no, that's <laughs> just a clear, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Apparently, since this is a flashback, they are. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, he, well, we you don't see. know who's there. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. know, he never specified uh, who's in the cart. There's um, a dead goat man. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, I will let I will let you know that the uh, the chat has been going back and forth on like Roddy, yes, and Roddy, no. That's <laughs> 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 a constant. Our, our listeners has suggested that we need Roddy, no, and Roddy, yes, merch. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> already, already. I'd buy, I'd buy ten. Uh, Absolutely. So. I have two traits. One is called ramming charge. Immediately after you use the dash action on your turn and move at least 20 feet, you can make one melee attack with your horns as a bonus action. Oh, you have no space to, or, to go that far? Um, well, I can back up. Uh, or I have hammering horns. Immediately after you hit a creature with a melee attack as a part of your attack action. Oh, no, no. I don't want to do that because I need to be able to dash, but I can push them back. But that one's not going to work. Um, so are you, you're, you're trying to 
run up the wall and then jump out at them? Uh, I <laughs> was going to think that at first, but according to what the features say, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm just going to run, and okay. I'm going to hold my bag. Like, I'm going to switch the shoulder that my bag is on as I uh -huh. run up these walls and try okay. to just, like, go over. And you're... I'm protecting vitals, head ducking, uh, internal organs protected, only <laughs> hooves running, showing. And you're running up oh the wall, God. yes? Yeah, I want to do, like, a... Like a you know, like Shaolin monk warrior training, where they can just like kind of like do a like a few side wall steps. Yes, weird. But I want to go like, but I want to go like eight <laughs> feet in the air. Okay. <laughs> um, you start running up this wall. All of the archers' held actions go into effect, um, and they just shoot you. Uh, mm, interesting, interesting. So you like you run up the wall. You're like sideways. It's like a, a Quicksilver in X Men: Days of Future Past, where he's like, yeah. running along the wall. Uh, you run along the wall, and Bert goes shoot it, <laughs> and the oh, arrows no. just go boom, and you just poof, and you hit the ground. Everything Ow. goes black. Um, he's probably fine. <laughs> My friend, on. Am I? Is it important? I mean, uh, you had those hit dice to fall back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> at least you can heal yourself on a short rest with your hit. To, oh no! <laughs> um, you, uh, <laughs> C17R says nobody saw this coming. <laughs> um, you, uh, everything, everything goes black. You flash back to you in the wagon. Uh, I'm alive, thank God. As, <laughs> okay. Everything is, is continuing to move. You don't remember getting here. Um, you remember, <laughs> like, bits and pieces of, like, uh, things sort of fading in and out as you were sort of dragged through the sewers. Um, you remember tall, armored individuals who you were sort of handed off to. Uh, and you remember Bert, like, kneeling down in front of you uh, and going, Honest gods, no hard feelings, it's just business. And then taking a large bag of gold from the person he just handed you off to and walking off as you lost consciousness again. Um, I'm gonna murder Bert Poole and put his fucking guts in that cup. <laughs> I mean, okay. Steal the cup, then find hey. Bert. Everybody, oh. everybody needs like objectives, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, someone in the chat just said, "Oh, good, Roddy, you're finally awake." <laughs> <laughs> you got caught trying to leave the sewers with that cup. <laughs> uh, Billy, tell us a little bit about Billy. Um. Well, Billy uh, is uh, about. 42 years young and has been traveling this great continent um, selling their illustrious wares. Um, you know, they, they're a trader. Um, they have a lot of, you know, they're doing the hustle, um, making their money and, you know, just kind of never staying in one place too often, just kind of going from town to town, in and out, kind of quick, you know, not really putting any roots down anywhere. Um, you have, uh, been in this, uh, this small, uh, this small city, it's called, uh, Lovagel. Um, it, you are currently in the Rabid Fox Tavern, um, which is, uh, one of the larger taverns in town. Uh, you've been sitting here enjoying, uh, drinking with your, uh, your companions, your, uh, your other uh, people that you had been traveling with, other uh, stand-up businessmen uh, that you do trade with. Um, you had been drinking with them. They left hours ago. Um, unfortunately, uh, you were not feeling up to, uh, to leaving yet, uh, so you've continued to drink away some of the coin that you recently acquired. Hospitality um, is, is quite wonderful. Um, yeah. Um... As you are, uh, as you are sitting there, uh, the door just sort of like kicks open, and you see this, uh, this tall, 
human man uh, with a very bulbous nose that's sort of like bleeding out of one side. It looks like his nose is broken. You can see like a big mark on the side of his face. Uh, he just points at you. He goes, you! Uh, and just starts walking in your direction. Make me a uh, make me a perception check. You're, me? You've, you've been drinking <laughs> for hours. Make me a perception check to see if you can recognize this man. You have no idea who this guy is. Um, um, I just raise my glass at him and go, me! Um, <laughs> as I roll a six and eight. Um, uh, he, he walks up to you and just boom, is going to cock a punch at you. Um, what is your armor class? Uh, 14, I believe. Let me double 14. Uh, um, oh, no, 15. 15, um, okay. And it's just to paint a picture because I'm about three foot five. Uh -huh. And this is a I'm human gentleman. Sitting, I'm picturing I'm not you sitting, sitting on like a tall bar stool. Yeah, I'm, on a, I'm standing on a bar stool <laughs> and like just like leaning up against it. Um, they're at the Billy's at like just kind of ultimate chill at this point. They've had a few um, and mm -hmm. they just got cold docked for, you know, no reason. They've never done anything wrong in their life. Not, never, not <laughs> once. Um, you, uh, he, he takes a swing at you. You do manage to just sort of like drunkenly move out of the way of the punch um, as he just like swings at you and he sort of wipes some blood off his face. He looks at you. He, he goes, uh, "You said it was a pony." Uh, oh. He, he points out the door where there is a very old donkey standing there. Uh, and, and he goes, does that look like a bloody pony to you? Um, I, I mean, it's at this point, I stare at my drink and I stare at him. I'm like, everything's kind of looking like donkeys. <laughs> uh, he, uh, wow. he just sort of, he's going to attempt to, like, just grab the front of your shirt. Are you stopping, are you stopping him? Oh, uh, he's drunk, yeah. I don't like to be accosted, um, so I'm definitely going to try and prevent that. Uh. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make me a, uh, I'll call this either a acrobatics or just a straight dexterity saving throw. Your choice. Uh, I'm going to do strength. Okay. Oh. All right, 20. Dirty 20. Uh, okay. Um, let's see here. Did, strength definitely wasn't one of the two options I gave, right? You said strength. Did I you? said either acrobatics or a dexterity saving Oh, throw. okay. <laughs> <laughs> also here, my modifier. And you're just so, so, it, it, you so confidently yeah. said, I'm going to yeah. roll strength. Okay. Yeah. No one questioned that. No, it's, it's going to be a uh, using the, the eight, I rolled an 18 plus one, so 19. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he goes to, like, just grab you, and you just sort of, like, uh, I'm picturing you wearing, like, a, like, a poncho or something. He, like, grabs onto the front of it, and you just slip out the bottom of it, um, and are now standing <laughs> there. Um, he, uh, he goes, you quick, and he just sort of wipes the blood off of his face again. Um, let's see here. <laughs> um, what are, what are you doing? Um... I'm taking a look around to see what the kind of the the tavern crowd is. What's their reaction? Are they? They're they're watching. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna look outside to see how much time has passed. If I can, if I can yeah, tell. Make a uh, perception check. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, it's getting dark. Um, you, it was like early morning when you got in here and started drinking, so you've been here for hours. Oh, uh, you know, begging your pardon, uh, a good, uh, sir, I, I really, unfortunate with your, your face area, um, I really uh, have to go, uh, and I'm gonna try and, like, hop down, uh -huh. and go around and away. Um, if nobody looks, yeah, if everyone's just kind of interested, but not like too interested, I'm, I'm going to try and leave before it gets a little too, yeah. uh, he, he goes, uh, you're not going anywhere until I get my money. Um, you, uh, he sort of like smashes a bottle on the bar, <laughs> oh, no. uh, and is going to <laughs> lunge at you. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Uh, 
he Bar goes, fight. He goes first here. Uh, let's see here. Um, he is going to uh, use his uh, his bottle, which is uh, going to be an eleven to hit, which will miss. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, he misses. I. Uh, that is your turn. What are you doing? All right. Um, how much distance between me and like? If if I try and leave, is he gonna get an opportunity attack? He is in and... melee. He is in okay. melee with you, so you would have to okay. disengage if you wanted to get away from him. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty drunk. I'm not I'm not <laughs> thinking probably quite the clearest. So I'm just he's took a swipe at me. I'm gonna take Absolutely. a swipe at him. Go for um, it. with a short Beat sword. Um, Beat his fucking ass. <laughs> does a ten hit? Uh, a 10 will miss, unfortunately. Damn. Okay, so um, I kind of pull my sword out and, like, lunge, but kind of um, go off to the side. I will, however, um, uh, use my ranger ability um, of favored foe. Okay. Um, making eye contact with him. Um, okay. So that I can do, but I don't hit him, so it, as, as of right now, it does nothing. Absolutely. Um, he, uh, he just sort of, like, tosses the bottle away and pulls out his mace, uh, swings, uh, swings that at you. Uh, that's a, that's a 22 to hit. Uh, that'll, that'll hit. That's four points of damage. Um, and, uh, that brings us to your turn. Okay. Uh, the whole time he's just, like, screaming at you about how, uh, like, that's not the thing he bought. Like, give yeah. him his money back. Uh, what, are, what are you doing? Um, and everybody, I'm assuming everyone in like around us is just kind of like just kind of watching. Just watching. All right. Um. Oh dear. Um. Oh, I can't. I can't use my my arcane ability because I've already lost. <laughs> Points and I feel like that would be a bad move. Um, so I'm gonna try and disagree. By the way, I... <laughs> go big or go home. Yeah, go big. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> um... level one. <laughs> How? I will. Far? I will say, I uh, you have already used. Yeah, your hit die. Uh, yeah, but it isn't because, infinite. Yeah. Uh, Billy's Billy's arcane gifting is illusion, yeah. uh, which you used to make a donkey look like a pony <laughs> to sell it for more. You know, <laughs> it was a really good deal up until this point. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make a, another swipe at him, uh, having been accosted by this gentleman. Okay. Does a 16 hit? A 16 will hit. Okay. Um, so that does um, four damage, uh, and I get to roll for the favorite foe. Um, ooh, does another four damage. Nice. Okay. Another four. You, like, I hop up and slash at him with the uh, the short sword. Um I hop up he on looks... your t- by table, I feel like, just to get the... <laughs> like, standing on the... Just yeah. <laughs> at the full, like, fighter's pose. Uh, he will uh, make another swing on you with the mace, uh, which will miss. Um, he is going to uh, use his bonus action uh, to yell for reinforcements. Um, your turn. Um... Can I feel like to the per- the purse that I got from this gentleman and let's see how empty, how how full it still is? Like, where's the? How much money have I spent with this? Uh, of uh... a <laughs> uh, like, how much have you spent of his money? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. You got here in the morning, morning, so we're looking at probably like nine, ten o'clock. Yeah. Uh, it is getting dark now, which means like five or six. Oh, You've been okay. drinking that whole time. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna say, let's see. What is the uh, D&D 5E. <laughs> it's just about how you view it. The purse yeah. is half full or half empty. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, a pony, uh, a pony costs 30 gold. So we'll say he gave you, uh, you gave him a real good deal at 20 gold. 
Um, and uh, you have spent ten of it. Okay. Um, You've been drinking like a king uh, in this in this <laughs> day. And like you you had other people here with you, so it would have yeah. been split up with them. So um, you only have your your cut, which is the uh probably uh probably 50%, which would have been 10. Yeah. Uh, you've probably spent five gold. So you yeah. have five of his gold left. Yeah. I'm definitely going to see if I can disengage. <laughs> and if he's calling for reinforcements, this is... Billy knows when it's time to cut and run. And it's definitely um, definitely time. Um, um, yes. Excellent. I... <laughs> The uh, in the chat they're going. Hunter doesn't know what a pony costs off the top of his head. <laughs> uh, no, I don't, because none of my players have ever bought a pony. No. Um, I do know off the top of my head that a mastiff is twenty five gold pieces, because <laughs> almost every group buys one at some point. Um, I also know because of C seventeen R that elephants cost two hundred. <laughs> okay. That's cheap. Okay. Um. So what are what are you doing, Billy? Uh, Billy is gonna try and cut and run, try and disengage and get out. Um. Okay, so you're di taking the disengage action and running. Yeah. Uh, okay. You, uh, what's your movement speed? Twenty five. Okay, so you can get to the door. Yeah. Um, he is going to take a shot with his crossbow. <laughs> uh, that's an eleven to hit. Nope. Okay. Uh, you good? And then. Uh, and then he is going to use his movement to just run back over to you. Okay. Um, not not difficult. He has more movement than you do. Um, <laughs> your your turn. Unfair. Um, so at the door, can I see my the my compatriots that I uh, came with? They all left. This you, this was not a, this was not a long term commitment. For them. <laughs> this was a oh you've got a con. Cool. We'll go. It. We'll we'll provide like uh, muscle and stuff to get into the town. They got into the town. You made the thing, and they were like, "Okay, let's get one drink, and then we leave, so we don't get caught." And you were like, "No one's gonna catch us." Five gold later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Uh, Billy, 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 Billy. Um. I believe in you, Billy. I, I believe. So I. Them. All right, uh, so he's come back. Um, just right up in melee with you again. Right up in my if face. If you're trying to get away, you'll need to use disengage again. <sighs> Screwed. Um, I... Two of them fighting, but I only have one action. Oh god! All right. Um, I mean, if Billy also dies, that's you know what you know. Go big, go home. Um, how drunk? Actually, can I roll to see how drunk? Absolutely. Make a constitution. <laughs> make a constitution saving throw. Oh man! All right. Everything's coming up donkeys. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody oh. add it. Somebody add that to the list of shirt ideas. I want yeah. something that says everything's coming up <laughs> donkeys. <laughs> Okay. Woo! Constitution um, save. You, you're feeling okay. Uh, Billy drinks heavily, but sobers up real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. Billy's got inspiration now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, there you go. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Um, I mean, I was going to see if I could um, use... <laughs> Rolls. Nothing for Roddy. Yeah, <laughs> Billy for immediately gets help. Yeah. Here was my, here's my idea. People, needed, people this... needed time of sitting in the call to earn points to be able to Because I'm thinking of, of using um, my ability again to change this donkey back into a pony so this man doesn't kill me. <laughs> um, it would be your hit points. So wait, do I, I would roll to see how many hit points I use? How many hit points you would use, yeah. And I have inspiration. <laughs> So, I feel like a better use of this skill too. would be to turn him into a donkey. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> to be fair, 
her ability is illusion. Illusion, yeah, it's not, it's not really. It, uh, it could be a bottom <laughs> situation, you know, a little Shakespeare, okay. give him some ears. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. You can make him look like a donkey. Exactly. So if I roll, so I can roll a d8, and then if it's bad, I can roll, I can use my inspiration and roll again. <laughs> He'll take psychic damage sure. after everyone I'll, laughs I'll, allow, I'll allow you to use your inspiration to re-roll your, your if it, Yeah, if, it, if, if, it's, if it's bad. So it's, I'm going to roll a d, because, uh, yeah, my, my hit point type is... Boy. This group is, is going to need a shovel emote for how dig yeah. we deep ourselves. <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> Ranger, it's yeah. 10. I will, oh, it's I will 10. Work on okay. That. Let's, oh, let's Ranger stick with the a... theme and be okay. a spoon. <laughs> a four, Billy. Is that you good or bad? Four, you want to take okay. four hit points or you want to. And I, I can roll again roll to again. take better of the two? You would roll again, take the. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you would take the the better of the two. I'm taking four. Okay. <laughs> um, you uh, so you take four points of damage. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's now the the donkey, the old donkey is now playing. Like, what are you talking, good g gentlemen, sir? The, obviously, there is no donkey here. Make just, a, just, just this make lovely. A, make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, good thing I am proficient in deception. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. That is a nat one. <laughs> oh, no. Two for two, baby. Let's what? keep it going. Why is my curse? This is incredible. No, no, this is so good because this is this is both of the, like, crazy, <laughs> like, like this is the final moment sort yeah. of things have been ones. <laughs> um, incredible. Uh, oh, yeah. Sav the Curious says, if only you had inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, if sir? Only. Yes. And yes. Um, oh, man. So, yeah, um, I go, you know, this is what the, the, the pony's been here the entire time, good sir. The only one who's acting like a donkey is you, which is not the thing to say to an angry. Uh, <laughs> does, a, does a 12 hit? No. <laughs> no? Okay. He just swings his mace at you again. Ugh. Um, you can see two other people are beginning to move okay. this way. Uh, what are you doing? Jumping on the pony and trying to disengage and get away. How, how, what is the walking, what is like the running speed of a donkey? It's got to be more than 25 feet. <laughs> the walking speed of a donkey? Well, uh, this illusion doesn't affect its, uh... <clears throat> Oh, so. Te mm. Okay, so that's we're getting into a gray area. <laughs> I will, I will say, I will let it fly this one time if you want to use it. Uh, that you do have a second, you do have a second point of inspiration that was bought for you by the chat. However, uh, I did say when we talked about these things at the beginning, every character can only have one point of inspiration at any given time. Mm -hmm. So if you would redeem inspiration for somebody and they already have one. It does nothing. <laughs> um, all right, can I uh, can I try and oh, so he's just like blindly? <laughs> can I roll to try and persuade him again? Sure, you can you can use it to re-roll the uh, re-roll the thing. Deception. Let me insight check for him. Please be stupid. Please be stupid. <laughs> uh, he is dumb. Unfortunately, rolled real well. <laughs> um, so uh, he he is not uh, persuaded. He still took the swing at you. Um, what are you doing? Um, what is the uh, walking speed of a donkey? Uh, probably <laughs> uh, thirty-five. Um, let's see. Um, Forty. I'm definitely oh. jumping on that donkey. <laughs> I mean, this beautiful pony. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Make make an animal handling check. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, okay, you you get on it. Start riding off. Uh, he's gonna take a shot with the crossbow. Um, <laughs> misses. That's his shot that misses. Second shot from the other guy. Uh, Twelve misses, right? Yep, yeah, they all miss. Uh, seven, God. that'll miss as well. 
Oh. Uh, obviously oh standing God. up on the back of this saying of what a fine steed this is as I <laughs> Turpentine. Did you just say you were standing up on this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I heard. No, no. That's what I heard. No. I heard Don't that too. Don't say. Make me an acrobatics check. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy. <laughs> You hop, you swing yourself up onto the back of this donkey, take off through the street. They're firing crossbow shots. They cannot get you. You stand up on the back of it and you're like, and what a fine steed it is. And then your head gets smacked by a sign as you're riding underneath it. You just fall into the ground unconscious. Normally hitting signs is not a problem for Billy. They are no, uh, normally not. quite small. Uh, you fall, you fall unconscious. Um, as we transition back to the wagon, <laughs> uh, you uh, you remember more than what Roddy did. Um, <laughs> really? You, you remember uh, you remember being uh, grabbed by these villagers, locked in jail uh, in in town here, um, and you were there for probably about a week, um, and then these guys came through town. Um, big dark black uh, wagon um, rolled into town these guys came in they're asking around um, the jail gave you to them um, you were blindfolded tied up put into this wagon um, and you've been here for a couple of days uh, Nori Nori, you are, uh, actually, go go ahead and, uh, before we dive in, go ahead and tell the people about Nori. Who who are you? Uh, so, Nori is a Delamaran, which is a, kind of like a play on, like, a sea elf. Um, yeah, I do sort, have a tail. Sort of like the, sort of like the high elves of Tritons. Mm -hmm. Um, so I have a tail. He has kind of, like, blue-greenish skin. Um... And yeah, he's had it a little bit rough. He looks a little dehydrated. He looks like he's been in the desert for a few days without water, for sure. Um, so, uh, Nori, you were in uh, the uh, what is commonly referred to as Torbasa, but more uh, more correctly known as the uh, the Howling Mines of Tor Torbasa. Uh, on the eastern coast of the continent, there are these massive cliffs that just rise up out of the ocean. Um, and all across that cliff face, there are these mines that are just riddling that, uh, that cliff face. Uh, like Swiss cheese. Like Swiss cheese. <laughs> um, the wind <laughs> off of those mines, or the wind off of the ocean whips up into those mines and creates this howling sound that can be heard for miles around. Um, you've been there for a while. Um, you, you managed to get away. Um, did your, did your best to, to escape. You were, uh, smuggled, uh, smuggled out. Um, some people helped you, or at least that's what you were told they were going to. Um, unfortunately, I... Uh, other business came up um, and pretty quickly they left you in the desert um, in the uh, in the desert uh, you wandered for a few days trying to find um, something anything that you could uh, get out of the heat you were just wandering across the uh, the desert in the distance, you saw mountains. Um, you see, uh, they, they look lush. There's actually greenery on them. And you start heading that way, but eventually the heat is just too much and it overtakes you. Um, you find yourself slowly drifting off 
and fall unconscious. The next few days are kind of a blur for you. You remember darkness. You remember something wet sort of being put onto your forehead, something cold. Um, you remember water. The rest of it's difficult to remember. Um, you were severely dehydrated. You were dying. Um, somebody patched you up, but you have no memory of them other than a large form just sort of shambling in the darkness of this cave. Um, the next thing you remember is waking up uh, in a um, in the dark in the night you can see the moon overhead and looking around and seeing a campfire uh, and a large uh, figure um, Thrax if you would like to introduce yourself <coughs> Sure. A little bit of detail on Thrax. He is about seven feet tall. He's a knoll. Um, spent a lot of time as a pirate in the Dune Sea before settling on Monkhood, coming out of a little oasis town known as Benevolence. Um, he's still single digits for a knoll, which is about middle-aged, so he's nine. Um, and the thing that stands out the most about him, I think, is that he is just really 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 mangy he's filthy he's covered in like nothing that looks like a clean space on him um and he is carrying what looks like scraps uh and uh, debris from every corner of the desert such a dirty middle-aged child <laughs> <laughs> correct just the oldest nine-year-old who's so so dirty yeah. um, <laughs> You're describing every nine-year-old. Um, he, I, uh, Thrax, you, um, were in your camp. Um, you were in, enjoying a, um, a nice, a nice night. And then something in you told you you needed to get up and and move. Um, you wandered out into the desert, where you found a Dolomaran. Um, very, very rare in these parts. Uh, laying in the sand, uh, just sort of like propped up on a rock, um, <laughs> with a with a little uh, uh, with a little note attached to it that's sort of like hastily scrawled that just says, "Dear Benevolence, please help." Oh. Um, and it's just sort of like hanging from a, a string around their neck as they're like laying on this rock looking horrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just please help. No no further instructions. No further instructions. <laughs> yeah. How far away is is my camp approximately? Not far. Uh like if you if you started like kind of shouldered the uh the weight and dragged them there, um you're looking at maybe a 10 minute walk. Do, do they look like carryable, or are we talking about a, a size that I would maybe want to drag? Uh, how how strong are you? Um, <laughs> that's a that's a good question. Uh, what you bench, bro? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> you bench what's your PR? PR? <laughs> what's your PR? <laughs> bro, size Stop. me up right now. <laughs> I, I'm not you super. Lift other PCs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not super strong. Like I'm wiry for a knoll. Um, definitely on the leaner side, but I think malnourished is part of the problem, right? So, <laughs> I would I would prefer it's... not to lift heavy things. Hungry, dirty child. So what you're child. saying is he has the potential yes. for strength. Correct. Um, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, you would you would probably want to drag them then. I think, yeah, a dra I mean, it's soft sand, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, Nori, you're wearing you're wearing armor, right? Yeah. Um, so like, between the armor, the uh, the equipment that's sort of attached to them, like, that's that's a lot to to sort of drag with you. 
Yeah. No, that's a bit. I um, I wouldn't want to be dragged through the sand personally because that would knock some of the grime off. But I think <laughs> whoever this is probably would be perfectly fine with it. Does, um, does, does Thrax just actively cultivate grime on him themselves to <laughs> like like this will protect me from the sun i mean at this point it's kind of like a warm blanket you put on every day you yeah. know like you just <laughs> swaddle yourself yeah. in filth it, yeah. it maintains your body temperature right like during during the sun it sort of blood or during the, the day it sort of blocks out the sun and at night it insulates you yeah. it is it is both functional and friendly yeah absolutely <laughs> Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna drag this uh, this body back to your camp? Sure, I'll give it a I'll give it a shot. Just hook make, hook my arms a, underneath theirs. Make an athletics check for me. Oh, wait, how do I have proficiency in that? Okay. <laughs> uh, Three Fs, friendly. That's a six. Uh, yeah, you it it is a ten minute walk to your camp. Um, <laughs> the next hour and a half are spent trying to drag this person you're like it is sand so you're like sinking you're kind of slipping all over the place um you trip over your tail at one point um i don't know if it uh, did you mention what your uh what your like species in class was um i think i said noel i'm not sure if i said that i i think i said it was a monk i'm not sure if i said it was a noel. i think you did yeah i might have um when you were so, explaining uh, being nine years old but yeah, middle that's age. true <laughs> It was, it was it was not the most interesting piece of information in your right. yeah um so you you drag uh you drag them to uh your camp it takes you a little while by the time you get there your fire has gone out so you sort of tend to it and and build it back up um, sure i'm sure i have tools for that somewhere a absolutely would you like to make me an investigation check to see uh, uh what sort of tools you have available for that yay uh, this is not a good idea. Um, <laughs> that's Incredible. a five. Yeah. Um, what what what, uh, what what tool are you using, Gabe? Um, <laughs> uh, I would probably reach into my bag, and what I would find is a. It's actually, a, <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but it, it looks a little bit like a boat anchor made out of metal. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a little crusty in places. Um, but it, it's definitely a tool that I would try to make good use of in terms of restarting this fire. Maybe I kind Absolutely. of shift the You're, fire around. It's like a it's like a crowbar for like moving the heavy uh, yeah. uh, the heavy logs. Absolutely. Yeah. I can, no. I can buy that. Uh, uh, it does smell a little bit like feet. Is the only <laughs> downside. Incredible. Uh, make me a uh, make me a survival check. Oh gosh. Why am I out here on my own? Is the real question. Why am I at a five? <laughs> uh, um, you uh, you burn yourself a little bit uh, as you're as you're sort of um, doing. I think I'm just gonna this. pin that note to um, my chest and lie down. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know if this is going anywhere. Uh, oh, we man. get captured. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. So uh, good. The, there's got to um, be something the, that the chat the chat is chanting that you have inspiration. I didn't see yeah. it. Oh, I didn't see it, but it was a. Oh, yeah. this is a, a lie. Bunch of, there's a bunch of liars. Is what <laughs> this is definitely a lie. Uh, I thought he got yeah. it like right at the beginning, like um, before we even started. I, maybe I, I, I do. Maybe I, I also remember people... Gabe getting inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, it, the first ins the first inspiration then. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. ironclad inspiration memory let's go again yeah Ooh. right i don't Incredible. i don't um, know if yeah, that's Goodogs going to translate did, Goodogs did give it to you um uh nori also has one from file cake oh um, yes oh <laughs> i would Great. like the record to be known that i was bluffing and lying i was <laughs> <laughs> I just heard, I just heard inspiration. I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I appreciate that though. I uh, do. You, you rolled high on that deception check. Yeah. So, uh, Rex, you do, you do have, uh, uh, inspiration if you want to use it <laughs> okay. um, now, or if you want to save it for later. I really feel like I need to probably like go past the point where I'm trying to survive and just really check on this, this person that I brought into camp with me. Um, 
I want to know how badly injured they are. Like, how much help do they really need? Do I need to start running away from this place in shame, mostly? Yeah, but make a, uh, make a <laughs> medicine check. A negative one on this skill. <laughs> do you make it? I, I rolled a six. Roddy, Roddy used <laughs> up five? all of the good rolls for this game, for this session. It didn't, six, five, five, six, six, didn't even help me. It didn't even help me. I mean. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, looking them over, um, you're not certain they're currently living. Um, oh. You, yeah. you like get them back to the camp. You like lay them down. You look at them and you're like, oh man, are they dead? They might be dead. And you sort of sit next to them and then they like, <gasps> and you're like, oh no, they're alive. <laughs> Um, I feel like it's the smell. The smell yeah. of your fur yeah. wakes me up. <laughs> it's, like it's a little kelpy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's something in like, there. How how does Thrax smell like the ocean in the middle of the desert? Um, <laughs> the um, uh, but yeah, they're 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 alive. You have no idea how how hurt they are. But they so are my, currently yeah. living. My reasoning at this point is that I probably just need to start digging. Um, <laughs> a grave. That just kind of seems like the right approach at this point. Like I can oh, see man. somebody was just abandoned here. They're carrying a lot of heavy things. I brought them this far. They're not. They're very unwell. Maybe I just need to start digging. I don't know if I have a shovel, just, but like, <laughs> like you're gonna need a grave, so you might as well start now. Sort of mentality. I mean, yeah. Like it feels like it's not far off. I mean, you know, <laughs> I might as well get a head start. It's pretty late at night. I don't want to be digging all night long. I can get like a couple feet down, right? I have claws. It seems right. Yeah. I don't Why know not? if this is another tool. I uh, Maybe Boat Anchor is just like now an impromptu I, shovel. I, I do like that. <laughs> um, so good. You, uh, you start uh, digging it up. Um, go ahead and, uh... Doesn't matter. You can choose anything. Pick anything you want. 100 is fun. Um, I'll roll whatever you tell me. Uh, I, I think this is a... It's a survival check again. <laughs> Super. I, you know, I do have plus one on that, so... Seven. <laughs> <laughs> so far, your rolls have been six, five, five, six, seven. Uh, you are so trending good. back. It's a trend. The it's a trend. Yeah. Like the rising um, tide, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Roddy, the chat did just give you inspiration. Um, far, far too late. Uh, they, they said, I feel bad. Roddy gets inspiration. Keep it in your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm on it. Incredible. Appreciate the support. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sam in the chat, Thrax, uh, to, to, give you, uh, to give you some comfort, did say, really average rolls if you're rolling 2d6s. <laughs> that's, that's very fair. Um be killing it at the okay, craps table so uh <laughs> you you are trying you are trying to dig a grave with a boat anchor in the sand um, and killing it, it it goes very poorly <laughs> um you are somehow you are somehow burying yourself as you're like <laughs> digging in front of you and just pulling the sand into pile around you yeah um so uh nori you your eyes sort of flutter open you see this shaggy uh like disgusting knoll man <laughs> digging in a, a a pile of sand um in front of you and there's a fire behind you that's sort of going out um what would you like to do um <clears throat> hello oh are you are you awake yep why am i why am i I can't, I can't move. <laughs> I, I, I imagine that I'm buried like thigh deep in yeah, sand. Absolutely. Can I just like throw a ration? 
in their direction. <laughs> Can I tr yeah. like okay? Does so the thing, does the thing of hard tack just sort of hit you in the face? <laughs> yeah. It's just Knocks a large bone. Out cold again. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would want. Um, <laughs> oh man. Was that f food you threw at my face? <laughs> or a pillow? You decide. <laughs> I'll, like, try to, like, search for the piece of food that is somewhere around my head now. <laughs> Make an investigation check. Oh, <laughs> no. Can I get disadvantage on this? Uh, no. I, I won't okay, give you disadvantage on it. Perfect, perfect. The question is, is it food that I threw? <laughs> the chat says roll for biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How do, I, how do I roll? Oh, my God. I knew how to do this five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, if you if you open up your character, yep. um, and then uh, let's right. see here, uh, click on your uh, your investigation uh, face, and then on investigation. Yep. Click on my face, investigation. That's I like the idea I that I would also do. follow it up with a water skin immediately afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> just no warning. Just <laughs> splat into the yeah. face. Okay, we're yeah. just going to... Well, no, because I, I, mean I don't have a plus so to it. I just rolled a d20, Hunter. <laughs> 15. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Um, 15. Uh, Shelly throwing an investigation check in there. Just oh, yeah. Show just off to show, show off. off. I know yeah. how to do uh, it. Thanks, thanks for that, though. <laughs> I like, didn't I mean can roll well. Crushing oh, the, the rolls no. immediately. Uh, thanks for that. Nor Nori, did you uh, do you have any sort of bonus or is it just a? I do not. It is right. a plus zero. Uh, yeah, you still you find it. It's it's a, a large stale cracker. Yeah, um, I'll the, go for the, the water skin first the and then eat the cracker. Okay. Um, what that, what that is, is a water that is skin? Absolutely the wrong order to do that in. Um, he doesn't cause, know any better. You're gonna eat that cracker. And it's just gonna be dry. In your mouth. <laughs> oh no. Water. I try to like down. switch my like method and it doesn't biscuit. go well. Uh, that's how I always do it. Cracker. I don't know what you're talking about. That's how you're supposed to eat that. <laughs> you pre-wet uh, your mouth for the cracker. You Incorrect. I want as little both. contact with water as possible. <laughs> so. <laughs> Only cracker. Uh, fuck water. I. Uh, that's true, Sam. The cracker could choke you to death if you don't drink first. So you mm. drink you, first. You drink first, then you eat it, then you drink again. Um. And, the sandwich uh, method. You're feeling, you feel better. You can feel the like, just that like, if you've ever woken up at like three in the morning and you're just <laughs> like, I need water, and then you drink the water, you're like, it's the best thing I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I've just drained the water skin. It's like dripping down my face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thrax, are you still digging a grave? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should ask. Um, I, I'm gonna ask. Do you? Should I keep digging? Why are you digging? I, I, I'm, I'm not. Um, are, are we digging for water? It's a bed. Oh, so <laughs> I am supposed to sleep in a hole. If you are not alive, I understand that's the way that it works. Oh, um, I am in fact alive. Barely. For now. For, uh, are you going to kill me, sir? The night, the night may take you. That does sound like a threat, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a lot like a threat. It does, uh, it does sound 100% like a threat. Uh, it's, it's definitely not a threat. I think I would uh, but immediately throw the tinderbox um, <laughs> for, uh, for the rekindling of the fire to make sure that Somebody was attending to that while I, I slowly crawl my way out of this impromptu hole. All right, hole so that I've dug. I don't catch the tinderbox, <laughs> and I hate to correct you, Hunter, but I can't see the tinderbox oh, or anything box. else around me or the mountains. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> but, but within, but within ten feet. Ten feet, I could kind yeah. of see it. Yeah, you you have the you have the like within ten feet. You have the sort of like vague, uh image of stuff i feel like it's very blurry like he's Absolutely. definitely yeah. legally blind within 10 feet yeah. still <laughs> um yeah uh, for for the chat nori nori is blind um i uh, they they are a fighter they took the blind fighting skill to get 10 feet of vision um but they are still uh technically a, bl a very blind 
I, I would like um, to pitch something right now, which <laughs> is that I want to make one insight roll to uh-huh. determine whether or not Thrax throughout the entirety of this campaign ever figures out that Nori is blind. Oh, no. I'm ready. <laughs> One roll. Based on your rules so far? Are you going to use your inspiration, uh, man? Absolutely <laughs> not. Oh, damn uh, it. Go, go for it, Thrax. Make, make the insight check. Oh my gosh, this could be the one, though. This could be my comeback roll. Um, <laughs> we're trending up, baby. Just a nat 20 right here. <laughs> 12? I, I More think, than 10. I think as the tinderbox hits them in the head, you're like, they might not be able to see too good. <laughs> <laughs> fair. That's fair. Just squinting my eyes. It's probably the dehydration. Once they get enough water in them, that'll probably come That'll, that'll wear off. Yeah. Okay, I know, double digits. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the small clink of Tinderbox versus Skull. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thrax's friendship definitely can be described as blunt force trauma, so that's, <laughs> that's perfectly fair. Um, is there anything... You had a note pinned to your chest that said you needed help. What can I do? Oh, well, thank you for saving me. I don't remember writing a note but maybe i had paper sure um would you like to write one no you know i'm i'm okay i don't need to write a note to anyone it's fine um but you know some water would be nice and i don't really know where i am if you don't mind telling me we're a little ways outside the town of benevolence do you know the name uh, uh, I have probably a, heard of it. Make a make a history check. It's history a very check. it's a very small town. Okay, let's see if my worldly thing works now. Do, 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 do. Eh. Okay, okay, check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eleven. Mm-hmm. I would say Eleven. I would say you've heard of it. Okay. Um, very 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 small town. Um, memory serves it's some sort of like oasis city. I mean, it sounds a lot nicer than where I'm from. There's lots of water there. Oh, I, I, yeah. I, I love water. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a really good <laughs> <laughs> We have so a water bond. Comment. Yeah. Um, can you do anything about the fire? I tried to get it started earlier, but I was too busy dragging you across the desert. Uh, I mean, I can try. Um, do I still have like my sorry, sword I couldn't on me? Get the, sorry, I couldn't get the fire started. I was busy saving your saving life. Saving you. <laughs> From certain doom. Do I still have my sword, Hunter? <laughs> Uh, you you would um, okay. it's sort of hanging from your backpack. Okay, I'll take uh, one of my swords out and like. Whoa! Use it. I said fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm working on it, and then I'm just like holding a piece of flint with like the sword, <laughs> like I'm trying to light it. I would imagine I'm studying this intensely in this moment. I have no idea what's yeah. going on. This, is a, like, this, this is, is a weird use. This looks nothing like an anchor. I don't. Yeah, um, I don't yeah. make fire this way. This is wrong. Uh, Nori, make me a make me a survival check. Right, okay. Let's do this. Eight. Uh, We're gonna die. <laughs> um. You manage to, like, uh, strike it enough that, like, you get some sparks, like, mm. maybe a little bit of smoke uh, from, from the tinder, but n- nothing, nothing much. Uh, not a full-fledged fire, at least. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not very good at this. Um, I did almost die, so. Yeah. 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 You're, you're probably just, ha- you're having a hard time, like keeping a grip on the stuff your hands are still sort of yeah. uh, stiff from dehydration would um, it help if i poured the water on you is that <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm sure it anything would feel... no okay I- i'm just a little more wet now but thank you i, I appreciate it um right i get reminds me of home in the ocean i guess i, I smell it it's not pleasant <laughs> 
um <laughs> but what's what's your name you saved me i don't even i don't even know your name oh i'm i'm thrax i'm actually from benevolence i was just leaving and now i may be going back <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, why, why were you leaving in the first place well there's so much to find outside of benevolence and really it's kind of a small town the water's pretty much the only thing there oh okay yeah so benevolence has a total of like five buildings and ten people <laughs> i do really like my hut and my sleeping pallet but i thought maybe that the world had more to offer and i'm now here you are <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I mean, you, you know what? Maybe we were meant to meet that way. Um, I just, I kind of stumbled out of the desert on my own, and that's about all I remember. You're right. Um, no one should die alone. No, I, I, I agree with you. No, no one should die alone. That's a terrible death. We'll go down uh, together. I'll keep digging. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think either of us needs to die, Thrax. I may not see very well, but. Um, I, I do okay in most situations. Trying to walk through the desert on your own is a little difficult and dangerous. I didn't okay. think it through. <laughs> yeah, no. Where were you going? Well, I was trying... I, I left, like, my home. Um, like, have you heard of Torabasa? I have, actually. Um, only because it's a place I'm supposed to avoid. Yeah, it's not a good place to go. And um, my friend uh, smuggled me out of there. Um, but the people who were supposed to take me through the desert just left. I once Rex, crewed with me, a... Make me, oh. a his, make me a history check. A history check? <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I am fairly intelligent. I just, I want to point that out. Practically speaking... <laughs> <laughs> He is an intelligent nine-year-old. Um, Ten. You... That tracks. Uh, like, there's... Yeah, anyone that would have been chartered in that area? Absolutely. Uh, like, all it would take is the offer of any better job, and they'll go about their way. Um, yeah. You're honest... Honestly, you would be surprised that, uh, that Nori has any equipment on them. Oh, okay. They're really rusty swords. <laughs> yeah. No, you're. I actually. I'm. I'm from. Yeah, uh, an area in the Dune Sea, and a couple of the folks I used to run with. They. Uh, well, they're not the most savory types. I'm. I'm glad you got away with as much as you did. You might have come away looking like me. And I've heard that's not ideal. <laughs> well, I mean. I'm not one to judge. <laughs> no, I don't suppose you are. I Can I do the, like, hand wave in front of their... Oh, <laughs> 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 no! Uh, make, a, make a perception check, Nori. Make a perception how many, check. How many fingers? <laughs> how many fingers am I holding up? Oh, my God. Please roll low. That is the worst thing I've done so far. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, yes! You, you full, fully know, like... It's right in front of your face. You know exactly what they're doing. Like. It's okay, Thrax. I, I can see your hand. It's blurry, Wait. but I, I can see it. Yeah, it's fine. Look, look. I'll, I'll just grab it. <laughs> I am a little confused. I just shake his hand. It's very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> it's very... Should... I'll keep digging. It's okay. Just for me this time. Just for... <laughs> oh, he soothes himself to sleep and dig himself yeah. a hole and like crawl you... up in it. So if you don't, do you have a destination that I can I can take you to? We can go back to Benevolence or I, I have a sense that perhaps this is not where I'm meant to be, but I don't really know where I'm going. I only know how to get there. Well... And I didn't really have a Thrax. You, you would, you would sort of been looking to go somewhere. You, you weren't quite sure where you were, where you were headed. Um, but you do have a way to sort of try and gauge that. Can I use that ability potentially to discern something about where 
Nori is headed next. Ooh. Uh, roll me your hit die. Oh, gosh. Okay. I rolled a four. Four. Um, you focus. Um, and you can see some of the, the sand that's sort of going across the desert sort of swirls up in front of you. And you can just barely see an image through it, um, which is a, uh, a port city. Um, and you can see uh, sort of movement around in there. Um, and you see a, uh, a large, dark, black metal wagon uh, that is sort of moving um, with guards on either side of it. Uh, fades. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't ask you your name. Oh, uh, Nori. Nori, do you know anything about a wagon or being near the sea? Well, I do eventually want to go home, I guess. Um, yeah. I, I feel like now I'm going to systematically test things. Mm. <laughs> Can you point in the direction of home? <laughs> do I know which direction? No, I don't know where make, I am. There's no a, way. Make a, make a survival check. Survival check. Let's, see, all if right, can, all let's right. see if you can figure out, like, where is the like where is the wind blowing from um survival of 10 yeah. um i'm going to i'm going to say no you have no, no, no <laughs> idea I you're just not point you have in no a idea random where direction. you currently are you don't know where what direction home is um, really disbelieving expression and i'm just going to point I want you to know the body of evidence right now to support the idea that Thrax does not know whether or not you can see or not is like pretty even on both sides. Like it really is kind of like He's definitely fairly balanced. With you. Yeah. Like I, I feel like maybe somebody is messing with me a little bit. Um make make an insight check, Thrax. Yeah. My negative one insight. Here we go. Oh. Incredible. Oh. Incredible. Oh. Um yeah, oh, no. uh, I hate Thrax. To see it. Thrax, you firmly like you firmly believe uh, that this is like oh yeah Nori lives in that direction right like that is that is the direction it's south um, which is not anywhere near the, 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 the howling mines of Dorvaza. Um but I mean apparently that's where Nori lives sure. I mean, we could make a pit stop on the way to where you need to be. The only thing I know that south is. I um I want to look at the map, but that would be cheating. <laughs> um, you could make a you could make a history check. You're you're from the like the area. You've lived in the area for a while. Okay. Um a whole nine years. Right? A whole <laughs> nine years. <laughs> with, a, with a thirteen, um there are there are two port cities sort of south of here. Okay. Um there's uh Lovago. Um, okay. which is a, a small uh, shipping city, um, and then uh, the port of Wobbegong, um, which is uh, closer, um, but is sort of chaotic. Mm. Uh, would there be a way for me to, like, make just an internal decision about where I think Nori is from without actually asking? Ooh, interesting. Um... Make me another history check. I... <laughs> okay. Come on. Eight. Um, oh, nice. Still have that you, inspiration. You, you look at Nori, and you're like, mm. hmm. They seem like some sort of fish person. Yeah. Uh, you know that there's a city that is like, I uh, complete like it. It was a city that was above land, and then the whole thing sunk when the uh, when the volcano sort of rose. Oh um, no! So uh, maybe they're maybe they're from the sunken city. Okay, yeah, that's that's in that's my a, brain. That's an underwater city. That would make yeah. sense for fish people. It perfect sense. And I think I'm just gonna, Nora. I'm just gonna give you this very knowing look, which you that can't is see. South of you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just see you like sort of nodding. 
Yeah. I can see a little bit of light behind you <laughs> from like, the yeah. fire. And I'm like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to say, okay, it's, it's a pretty far distance, but mm -hmm. we can stop in benevolence on the way there. And the the monks there will give us anything we need i am fairly well known there um brother Grier will help us get all of the supplies that we need for what is going to be a fairly long journey but i would not mind making that trip with you if you need someone to accompany you uh, that, that would be very I, I would be very thankful uh, if you would do that still in the back of my mind thinking maybe i'm being messed with just a little bit <laughs> and so I'm just going to, like, slowly extend my arm a little bit, just, like, elbow mm -hmm. first. Mm-hmm. It's like, a, like, if you take this arm, I know yeah, you, you can absolutely, see. Yeah, you I'll absolutely grab it. know where that arm is because it's within 10 feet of you. Right. Perfect. I'll just grab his elbow. It's so, it's so confusing. I just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of would just pat, I think, um, his hand and be like, okay. <laughs> okay. How tall is Thrax? About seven, a little over seven feet, but he hunches quite a bit. Okay, He's a hunter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely He's shorter than you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hunter. How tall is how tall is Nori approximately? I put like six three. Yeah, how tall lying down? <laughs> lying down. I mean, do you lose inches or do you gain inches lying down? I don't know. <laughs> um Okay. Uh <laughs> You you head out. Uh, you mean? begin um, heading towards <laughs> benevolence. Right, um, probably right away because we can't light a fire to save our lives. So, <laughs> so you just take off in the middle of the night. We we better get back um, as quick as we can. A sad uh, fire pit you, in your wake. You go to benevolence. You uh, you check in. They'll sort of help you get patched up and stuff like that. Um, the uh, as the um, as they've patched you up and stuff, they ask you where you're going. You tell them you're, you're headed south. Um, and uh, they'll sort of prepare you for the road ahead. Um, make sure you have water and supplies and stuff like that. Um, and you head out. Um, the next few days of, of journey, because you are moving sort of uh, at a slower pace with, with Nori. Um, just as they're not at a hundred percent yet, their, uh, their vision isn't, their vision is confusing. Um, uh -huh. uh, but, um, eventually you would end up in, uh, the city of, uh, Lovigel. Oh. Um, that is the, uh, the nearest, the nearest city south of, of Benevolence to, uh, sort of stop there to, to resupply and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so you guys end up in the, the city of Lovigel. Um, as you are uh, walking in and sort of um, looking for a place to sort of hunker down for the night, uh, go ahead and make me a perception check, uh, Thrax. Oh. I think I would probably, like, elbow Nori and be like, does it smell like home? I mean, it smells. Are we close to the ocean? You are. It is a. It is a port city. It is on the. Um, uh, so it's on the briny sea, which is uh, a very, very salty body of water. Um, but it's like, it's clearly on the like on the the salt water. I mean, it smells a little saltier than I'm used to, but we're close to the ocean. Still confusing. Okay. Um. Uh, Thrax, with a with a fourteen, as you're walking down these these large stairs that go into the main market, uh, you see that wagon. Um, oh. That, that you saw in the in the vision, sort of moving through uh, the the main market here. I I think I would probably go back and like, probably shoulder tap Nori and be like, remember that wagon. Yeah, the, I totally like, remember the wagon. From that like two wagon. minutes ago in the desert when I rescued you? <laughs> that was like weeks ago now? <laughs> uh, Wait, did you tell me about is, the wagon? This is, like four, this is like four or five days. Um, but uh, yeah, the, <laughs> when when Thra Thrax had been like, what do you know about wagons? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <"What?"> um, <laughs> Days ago. <laughs> um, so you, uh, 
you you have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> they don't let me drive them. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that makes sense. That's starting to track. Okay, but <laughs> stay with me. I think I found us a ride. Does oh, this look I... like an like an imposing black wagon, or it's does a, it look? It's it's sort of imposing. It's intimidating. It's a yeah. big, dark, like iron, uh, like it. Uh, if you knew what a what what like a wagon designed for transporting dangerous prisoners would look like, it would look like that. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> you have no idea what something like that would look like. Of course not. So I would just tell Nori, like <laughs> I found the safest way for us to get. It south. does look very safe. It's, no one is gonna get to us in this thing. I mean, you, no matter how you see, I'm telling you, you can ride in this wagon. <laughs> it's gonna uh, be great. I I totally trust your judgment. I I. Um... <laughs> I obviously don't get out much, um, so uh, yeah, I, I trust your judgment. <laughs> okay. I am the worst. I am, uh, I am the I'm worst. So, okay. So you walk over to the wagon. Um, one of the is guards, there anybody nearby that I can there's, like? There's a there's a guard in like dark um, armor that sort of matches the wagon. <laughs> right. So I would approach the guard and I would probably say to him, "I had a vision of this wagon, like a week ago." <laughs> Fuck. I want you to know there are two people that definitely belong on whatever journey it is you're taking right now. He, he sort of looks you over. He goes, is that so? And sort of puts his hand on the hilt of his blade and he goes, you're turning yourselves in then. I, if you're going south to the sunken city, I can tell you right now, my friend, we're going with you. <laughs> he sort of like makes a motion uh two other guards come over um they will uh they will blindfold both of you which, which nori does not change your vision he doesn't need that um, it's fine uh, he doesn't and, and then the, uh you hear like large iron doors being opened and you are both sort of pushed up into this wagon. it's okay it's proprietary security they don't want us to know how they get this done are you, sure, are, are you sure this is a good idea? It's a combination lock. It's probably fine. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, um, this is just safety for all of us. The, the next <laughs> few days uh, continue. Um, Thrax, Thrax and Nori, both of you make me... Uh, uh, no, not Nori, sorry. Thrax, <laughs> make, me a, make me a survival check. Oh, why? why? <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> I could survive, sort of. This may be my inspiration moment right here. Uh, <laughs> twenty. Uh, with a with a twenty. Um, Bravo. You, yes. You know from pretty much immediately upon leaving this current city, you're headed east, not <laughs> south. Uh, you actually are headed a little bit north. Um, oh. Uh, and you're you you. You let them know, like clearly there's been a mistake. A um, couple of times, they right? Not, they they do not stop and they do not help. I uh, think just to just to really make sure that this is not what is meant to be, I would check with Nori one more time and say, "Hey, just just because I think it's important to check in with people every once in a while, do you want to just point to home again?" <laughs> <laughs> He's just, gonna in point just in case, in a random direction. <laughs> Is, is that random direction having to be the direction that we are traveling at this moment? Uh, uh, Nori, Nori just pointed uh, northwest, uh, <laughs> which is, uh, you are currently held head northeast. Uh, good news, bad news. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're traveling in a path that if you were riding in a sand sailor, um, we could easily cross a distance to get you back home. Um, we're just going to make a quick stop for <laughs> some, like a, a, a 40 point inspection on the wagon. That's I'm sure that's what they're doing. Just to make sure that you and everything that you have on you are going to get to your destination safely. I feel like this has happened to me before. Um... Oh no. Right, but now, <laughs> now I'm here. So we're in this together. 
Okay, okay, we're in this together. Right. You trust me, I trust you. I've seen this wagon. Are you going to abandon me in the desert, Rex? No. Okay. <laughs> Unless I do. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> I need I need to make another check. I, I think that's a perfect point okay. to cut somebody yeah, that's fine. Um, I love how much of an optimist Thrax is. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, uh, everything is gonna be great. Shelly, I, uh, you have just returned uh, back to your cave. Um, it's beginning to storm, kind of gross out. Uh, you do not, you do not enjoy hiking that close to benevolence. Um, but like, you also couldn't keep that fish person in your cave anymore. Um, mm -hmm. and you had to get them out of there. Mm. Uh, so, um, you hiked them down as close to benevolence as you were willing to get. Uh, and then left them there with a tag that very clearly explained that they needed help. Um, and you've returned home. Uh, for our, for our audience, what does Shelly look like? Um, Shelly... The, the most absurd <laughs> description of any character that we will have. Um, the art that I am most looking forward to getting back is Shelly. Um, go ahead and describe Shelly for us. Shelly is an abomination against God and all other living creatures. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Shelly would oh. technically be classified as a reborn for for D D. She's slightly modified from some things you're familiar with, though. Um, all of her limbs are not her own. Um, as far as she knows, she's some sort of elf. She looks mostly elvish in the face, from what she's seen in various pools of water. Um, she does not have memories, except for about the past year or so. She didn't really do a great job of tracking time either, so even that's a big question mark. Um, she came to, she looked around, got the hell out of there, because what she saw was pretty nasty. She's about six foot four, 200 pounds, mostly muscle, but a lot of that poundage comes from Kevin. Uh, all of her limbs are named. Um, because she's only spent time with her limbs and other animals. Um, now, Kevin is a Goliath arm, um, very strong, extremely strong. That's her right arm. Her left arm is uh, mostly human, and that human is named um, Tyler. Uh, but the, the shoulder of that human arm actually came from Tortle, so she does have a bit of a hunchback since it's a Tortle shell right here on her shoulder. <laughs> now, her lower leg, um, named Fred, is of Firbolg descent. And finally, her other uh, leg is another sort of elf, but distinctly different color than, the, than her torso. So again, she's not exactly sure. Something from around here, probably. I, I believe in the... Uh, some one of my favorite things about character art uh, is uh, listen, looking at how you like how the player describes things uh, in the form that is sent for the character art. Um, and I believe when you were listing your stuff out, you said uh, leg, also elf, the wrong kind. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, man. Um. Finally, um, she she is aware of one organ that has been changed, being her spleen. Um, but she does not know whose spleen it is. Just that it's definitely <laughs> not the original spleen. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh man, um, spleen swap. <laughs> that's so good. Um, okay, so Shelly, you are in <laughs> this this cave of yours. It's uh, up in the mountains, it's wet and dark. And um, what are you? What What would you be doing? I am going to make returns? some gruel. So I am starting up a fire, and we are making some gruel. I've got Absolutely. some new cacti. I want to try. <laughs> uh, go you know ahead and yes. go ahead and make a survival check for me. 
Oh, Eight baby. Yeah. Uh, it, it, as, as, you, as you know, making a fire is very easy. Um, so <laughs> you, uh, you sit down and make a fire, no problem, uh, and start making your gruel. Um, <laughs> as you are doing so, go ahead and make me a perception check. Uh, it's hard hard to hear anything over the sound of the storm outside, mm -hmm. uh, the the lightning and thunder. Um, as you are sitting there cooking, um, you uh, all of a sudden see the the light from the moon outside uh, blacks out. Um, you turn around and you see that there is something in the entrance of your cave. Um, and you, uh, what, what are, what are you doing? It's a large form standing in the entrance of the cave there. I am going to go ahead and back away slowly while clutching my gruel. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, was that prop intentional or unintentional, Mel? Like, really? You didn't know this old man was coming back, baby! <laughs> Uh, the, oh my gosh. the individual in the in the entrance to the cave enters the cave. You see two more sort of uh, moving in behind it. Um, all of them have weapons drawn. Uh, and you hear one of them go, Oh, is that it? It's gotta be it. And one of the other ones goes, You know, I didn't believe it was a monster out here, but there it is. Uh, and they begin moving towards you with uh, their swords. One of them has a large net out. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, uh, how do you say? Um, oh dear. Oh dear. I, hello? <laughs> um, they are going to attempt to capture you unless you prevent them from doing so. Um, I would like to at least attempt to avoid a net being thrown at me, if that, I'm assuming that's what's happening. You're trying to do what? You cut, you cut out there on my end. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to attempt to at least shuffle sideways to avoid any <laughs> obvious nets being thrown at me. Okay, uh, make me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> All right. Um... <laughs> A 17. Ooh. They they toss the net and you just sort of like duck forward and keep moving. Um, and uh, um, does, one, one does of them sort of grabs want... the net and goes, oh man, she's quick. <laughs> does anybody want gruel? Uh, they are, they're sort of moving you towards the entrance of the cave. Um, sort of hurting you that way. Um, alright. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, Still clutching my gruel, of course. Attempt to uh, shamble past fast. Okay. Um, you uh, you begin sham <laughs> shambling <laughs> away. Uh, make me an athletics check. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you run outside. Uh, you see that there are four more people out here. Um, some of them have nets, others have, like, large, uh, like, crossbows, um, and, uh, they're just sort of, like, herding you into, like, a circle, um, as you're just sort of, like, running around, holding your gruel, there's rain <laughs> falling into it, you're trying to cover it so it doesn't get watered down. Oh, no. Um, I, uh, in, in the distance, uh, you hear a yell and there's a flash of light. Uh, Rad. Yay. Uh, Rad, you've been traveling through the woods Very for good. a few days here. Um, the, uh, the storm has uh, been pretty bad as you've been moving up the, uh, uh, the slopes of the mountain here. Um, go ahead uh, and introduce Rad to the uh, to the audience here. Rad is um, <laughs> the best way I've come to describe it is is 
the the love child of Swamp Thing and Chewbacca. Um, <laughs> just just a, a big old mess of shaggy, like mossy. stuff pile yeah, yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> it's just like hanging down in front of his face and 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 he's about seven foot six um and and it's not sure how much of him is sort of overgrowth of fur and overgrowth of moss and mold and how much is actual body excellent <laughs> um <clears throat> You have been uh, traveling up into the mountains here. Why? Why? What brought you to the mountains, Rat? Uh, Rat had heard of some kind of creature, some large kind of abomination that might be up in these hills, and thought that seeking them out may answer some questions for him mm -hmm. about himself. Mm -hmm. And so he thought, you know, having literally no idea what else to do that wandering into the mountains after this rumor would be a great idea okay uh so you uh you wandered out into the uh into the mountains here um it's taken you a couple of days uh but you've been you've been tracking you're you're doing everything you can um you in the distance, see uh, torchlight through the through the rain, sort of flickering, um, and you can see uh, in the in the distance there are about ten people, a um, couple of wagons, ten people. Uh, you see some of them have uh, nets, some of them have uh, crossbows, um, and there is some like hunched, shambling figure. Uh, sort of moving back and forth in between uh, the ten of them. Hey, hey, man! Stop like, like, restricting your freedoms. That's not cool, yeah. dudes. <laughs> uh, wh one of them, one of them turns and looks at you and goes, "Oh man, there's two of them." Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what? Uh, what are what are you doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like like Obi Wan at the beginning of of A New Hope, just uh -huh. sort of like sort of trundling down the side of the hill towards uh -huh. where they are, just like, hey, stop that, dudes. Okay. Um, uh, you see you see three of them are like running at you, weapons drawn. Whoa, guys! No need for violence. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but at the same time, he's he's going to grab his little bindle that he has on his back with, uh -huh. with a little bag that is full of just the most stale, like, months and months old rock hard, like, pieces of bread and uh -huh. other snacks that his mom might have made for him. Um, and just kind of be ready to, like, I guess we're going to do this, guys. Um, you, as you, as you are like, you, you don't want to, you don't want to. Yeah. It's guys. like, this is not um, a good idea. You, you can feel that heat beginning to burn within no. you. Um, and I uh, sort of beginning, like you, you can see your vision just sort of on the edges, like just sort of red beginning to, to creep in there. Um, what are what are you doing? No, guys, just stay back. Don't, no, don't do it. Stop. He and he's, he's, he's now now instead of like holding it like he's gonna hit them, he's holding it kind of like trying to protect himself. Uh huh. Um. Like like maybe if he doesn't fight, the bad uh -huh. things won't happen again. Uh -huh. Even though he knows better. Okay, um, you, uh, you begin moving, uh, moving in that direction. Um, you can feel that heat beginning to, like, grow. 
grow inside of you as they're as they're starting to get close. Um, one of them will uh, let's see here. Uh, one of them is going to uh, throw a a spear uh, at you. Okay. Uh, that is a seven, so that'll miss. Uh, the next one, uh, also, uh, throws a spear. That's a 23. That's a um, nat, that's a nat 20. Um, why is only the DM getting nat 20s? Oh, no. That's, that's not fair. my fault. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so that's going to be, uh, six points of damage, um, to you, uh, Rad. What are you doing? Um, okay, at, at that... At the damage, Rad's gonna like kind of snap and go, You gotta stop it! <laughs> and then he's, <laughs> he's gonna, um, he's gonna just so sort of like, you can almost see a glow behind the shag of uh -huh. like two little red spots. Uh huh. Uh, and he's gonna rage. Okay. Um, and then attack the, the guy that hit him. Absolutely. I uh, beat his ass. Go, go ahead and uh, um, as you as you go into this rage, go ahead and make me a charisma saving throw. Oh. <laughs> that one. I uh, you I uh, I uh, rad for a moment. Uh, you're, you're like running in, you're like, I don't want to do this. And then you feel in the back of your head. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. And then everything goes black. <laughs> um, you wake up. Who knows how long later, uh, in a wagon. I... <laughs> oh. uh, you uh you are in the wagon bound tied um still like looking looking down you like you're you're tied up heavily there are chains wrapped around you um looking down you see that there's just blood all over you um just absolutely do, coated in it mixed with the the mud and the filth of everything do, else do i taste anything weird in my mouth Oh. Um, <laughs> you sort of what? There is a coppery taste. Oh no, no, not again, man. Um, Shelly, uh, you also I uh, come to consciousness. I uh, you would have you wouldn't have been like knocked unconscious and dragged into there. You you saw something run out of the mountains and then it was just carnage uh on the on the battlefield there uh they did manage to like knock him out and then catch you um before you could get away um the true tragedy is that your gruel spilled everywhere oh, oh no. I you um <laughs> But you are in the in the wagon, um, heading away. Uh, the six of you, um, all sort of chained and tied up in in this space. Oh, it's the same wagon. Looking around, um, it as the as the moon is sort of coming out and some light is filling this this space. Um, you guys can vaguely see the others that are sitting here. Um, I, you look around. Um, it's been a, a few days here um, that you've been in this wagon. Other people have been picked up uh, over the, the course of this. Um, as you are riding um you can hear some sort of like sandstorm or something outside that's been uh slowly picking up um 
and then outside, somewhere in the distance, you can hear noises. Um, you can hear the, uh, the, uh, oh, music didn't transition right. Give me one second. Try that again. <laughs> no, still not transitioning right. Let's try this one more time. It's it's the it's the music for the the road instead of the music for um this other part. Um, there we go. I, I just want to point out I killed my initiative roll. <laughs> um, <laughs> who, uh, in the in the area around you, you can hear uh, yelps, yips, uh, growls, thracks. Make me a perception check. It's my family. <laughs> Daddy. Uh, those, Mom. Those are. You, you recognize immediately those are gnolls. And those are not, like, the gnolls that you've, uh, like, associated with. And, like, there there's the, like, the gnolls that you come from. And then there's feral gnolls. Mm. These are feral. And you can hear shouts of chaos breaking out in the, uh, the woods around you as this ambush springs into life. Um, you can see the, uh, through the bars, you can see gnolls dropping out of trees. You can see people, like, running out of the, the sand, the storm that is swirling around you. Uh, and you can see the guards of this caravan. They're just being mowed down by, uh, this, this door. What, or by these, uh, these gnolls. What are you guys doing? I, I am not backing down from my safety narrative with Nori. So I'm definitely trying to convince him that we are totally fine. <laughs> uh, and the guards are just sleeping. <laughs> uh, Billy's definitely looking around for like their stuff or like, cause they're, we're, we're still. You, you do not have your stuff. You know that your stuff mm. is in this caravan. Yeah. You just and we're still tied, it. correct? You are still tied, yes. Okay, I'm definitely trying to get untied. Okay, um, uh, go ahead and make a sleight of hand check for me. Okay. Um, Roddy, looking over at that door, <laughs> you know it's locked. You could try and do something with that lock. Yeah, I would like to try. Okay, the, this you is like the you door. Had long, you would have had long rests at this point, so you have cool. your, your hit dice back. Awesome. Inspiration. This is... And I have inspiration. Fantastic. This is the door to the back of the caravan that we're locked in. Cool. Yeah. Let me, uh, I guess I'll, I'm not even going to bother with my, am I, am I just tied up with like shackles? Is it just like metal handcuffs? Uh, you, you just have rope. Oh, sweet. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, I'll just go to the door. I'll leave the rope on for now. I'll, okay. We'll burn that bridge when we get there. Um, and I would like to... Let me try... Let me try to just Thieves' Tools the lock. Can I do that? You wouldn't have your Thieves' Tools on you. Those, that would be in your equipment. Oh, right. Okay. Then, yeah. Let's try to, I guess, melt this, like... Okay. Lock or just try to like the part where the lock is connected. I just want to like make that soft. Okay. Yeah, metal go to ahead. butter. Classic <laughs> alchemy. <Yeah. laughs> Finally, right, for my groove. Go ahead and roll me the. Uh, go ahead and roll me the. Uh, the hit die. That's a four. Four. Okay. You uh, put your hand, uh, still tied. Sort of push your hands against the uh, the lock. Um, you f see that warping begin happening uh, in the metal, and then the door pops open. You can see the chaos all around you. You can see the wagon behind you that you know 
all of your equipment is in. And that is where we'll pick up next time. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm assuming with my 11 side of hand, I'm just flailing stupidly <laughs> in the back of this. <laughs> Billy has somehow managed to get their hands up yeah. around their head. Yeah. Currently more You got constrained. tangled in somebody else's ropes. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, with, with an 11, it's not, that's not bad. Um, I am incensed, by the way, at the security measures being bypassed on this this caravan. That is <laughs> unacceptable to me, and I will be finding somebody to complain to. <laughs> this isn't where I wanted to go at all. I uh, made a promise. <laughs> oh, man. You're getting a bad Yelp you made, review for you me. Made a you made a promise to take Nori to a place that they definitely don't want to go. Don't want to go at all. <laughs> That's why I keep pointing in random directions. <laughs> oh, man. We'll get there, the toes. We'll get well, there. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Uh, it has been a uh, an absolute pleasure. Uh, we will uh, be back uh, next Monday night uh, for episode two, uh, Into the Mists. Um, and we will see where, uh, where the road takes us. Um, in the in the meantime, uh, Warlocks and Waffles streams uh, Mondays at one uh, one p.m. Eastern and Thursdays on uh, at ten a.m. Eastern uh, here at the same channel. We do an RPG morning show um, with myself and Paul, um, and then uh, we'll be back here uh, next Monday night at eight o'clock Eastern, and uh, we will see you all there. Um, uh, I don't think GG, we everybody. mentioned. I don't think we mentioned it at the top. Um, we are. Uh, we did mention we're in partnership with Alchemy RPG. Uh, thank you so much, to Alchemy RPG, for uh, helping us out and letting us use uh, the platform. Um, we're also in partnership with 1985 Games, uh, who does all sorts of uh, maps and minis and tokens and uh, dice and all sorts of stuff like that. They have. Um, they have a Kickstarter out right now. Uh, that does uh, VHS tape inspired dice. Um, Very cool. I will drop oh. the uh, drop the link in there. Um, that Kickstarter is worth checking out, even if it's just for the like incredible vibes of the video. <laughs> um, but these these dice are very very cool. They're resin, uh, sharp edge resin dice. They are each inspired by different like VHS type size stuff. And the cases that they come in look like old VHS tape sleeves. That's really um, cool. Which is very very cool. Really um, good. I'm I'm very very excited. Um, if if you guys would like to uh, submit like fan art or anything like that feel free to tweet it at us or send us a, a message on twitch please tag um, me <laughs> uh, we, are, we are more than happy to see all of that we will be back next monday um we should have our finished character art by monday that we will uh, be able to uh, do um i'll probably we probably will like preview character art leading up to it if we have it um so you guys can get hyped <laughs> on that uh in the meantime have a great week, everybody. Uh, embrace the nonsense, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one. Uh, bye. bye. <laughs>